Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation section to learn all about Divi's shop module. So the shop module um, is something that we've created to add an extra layer of compatibility with WordPress's most popular e-commerce solution, WooCommerce. So you'll definitely need that plugin installed when using this module. However, the benefits of having WooCommerce and the shop module combined are extensive. So what we're gonna show you how to do today is add individual products or a range of products or even a whole shop to your website or to different pages using the shop module and how to customize it. So check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of Divi's shop module. Divi's shop module integrates with WooCommerce to display your products anywhere on your website without the use of things like a short code. The shop module also supports many different types of product displays, like if you want to only display your recent products, you could do that. Other types include sales products, featured products, best selling products, top rated products, and also products by category. And you can use the settings options to customize this grid layout any way you want so it can match the style of your own website. Right now, I'm using the shop module to display a list of recent products here in a grid layout. And it fits nicely within a home page uh, like this. And you can, of course, customize the settings however you want. Let's go ahead and jump in just to take a brief look at the settings and how it is currently set up. And afterwards, we'll go ahead and set it up uh, from scratch so you, can, so you can see how to add it to your page. In the content tab of my shop settings, I have the type of products that I'm displaying are my recent products. I can of course change that to featured or sales. Uh, I also have the product count to four. So that's how many products uh, I'm, I'm displaying here. So it, you know, it'll just display my top, my, my four most recent products. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. And the shop module works with WooCommerce, so you must have WooCommerce installed on your website, and you must also have products added to your website as well. So if we'll go to the back end here, and let's go ahead and go to uh, our WooCommerce uh, products here, just so we can you know, go over the products that I currently have installed. So you can see I just have like four set up. Um, uh, this one's not really a product, but these four I've already set up with a price. So if I go and edit uh, my first one here, just to show you, I really don't have any content added just because it's an example. The only thing I really have put in is the price so you can get an idea. Um, and then I also have a product image set and you can of course add all of this other information which will show up on your actual product page but these features are really what's necessary to if I go back to our page here this will show your uh, title which is what you need you need the title you need a product image and you also need the price of the product and if it's a sale you would put that in as well as well so I also have a few categories set up to organize my products. I just have two here. One's called desserts, one call, one's called household. And I've attached two of my products um, to the desserts category and the other two to my household. That way uh, you'll see whenever I go to my settings, uh, shop settings, and then I change it to uh, product category as my type then I could um, choose which of the category I want to display here. So if I choose desserts, it'll only display those two um, products that I've attached the dessert category to them. So it's a helpful way, a very convenient way to display your products by category. All right, so let's now go over how to add a shop module to your web page. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. 
and I'm going to delete the module. All right. Now, all I need to do is find whatever column I want to display my product, my products in, and then click on add new module, find the shop module, click on it. And out of the box, it's going to work great. Um, you can see uh, there's really not much customization that needs to take place, but we are going to customize it a little bit to match the design of our site as we go through our shop settings so we can get a better understanding of those. By default, under the content section, the type of products that are going to be displayed is set to recent products. We're going to actually leave that because that's what we want. Uh, we're going to change the product count because uh, we only want to show the top four or the four most recent, I should say. I'm going to uh, keep my column number to default, which is four, but I could change it to, you know, if I wanted a two column layout, you can have a, a larger image, for instance, to display your products. You can do that. You can also change the order by option here, um, which basically allows you to display uh, your product by a certain order You can change it from oldest to newest, newest to oldest, that type of thing. Uh, you can add a background to your module here. If you wanted a dark background, for, in, for example, you would have to add some padding into there, but uh, you could you know, do that. We're gonna keep it set to the default, which is none for now, since we're kind of using our section background. Um, let's go into our design tab under our design tab. We have more options that will further design all the little elements of our grid and our product display. In the overlay section, I can change the icon overlay color. Right now it's set to this uh, blue, which is the default set in my theme customizer, but I can override that to match my site. And we're just going to give it this pink color here. I'm going to paste it in here. And so there you go. Now I have a icon that matches the color scheme of my site. I could also change the overlay color here if I wanted to. Right now I like the white overlay, but if I wanted to give it a darker overlay with some opacity, I could do that as well. All right. I could also change the icon that is displayed when hovering if I wanted to. There's a sales badge uh, color I could change here. This, this one right here, the sales badge that shows over uh, items that you have on sale, which is a really helpful feature and easy to change. So if I wanted to change the color, just go in here. Maybe I want to, you know, add that same pink for my sales badge, I could do that here. If I wanted to change the orientation of the content here, I could do that. Now they're all centered. Going down to my title text here, I'm gonna go ahead and change the font to, let's go with Open Sans, which might be my default actually, but uh, let's go ahead and keep it open sans and let's change the font size. We'll change it to, let's do 24. And let's do our price. Uh, let's go down here and set our price text. That would be the, the text uh, style of the actual price underneath your title there. Set it to open sans and then increase the font size to 20. I could also change the price text color if I wanted to maybe to, you know, again, make it that pink color if I like. I could change the sizing here if I wanted to of my whole module. Also give myself some more custom margin and padding, which would uh, be needed if I was giving it a background color, for example. Um, even an animation uh, to show your products um, 
when scrolling down to the page. In the advanced tab, you can always target the module using an external style sheet by adding your CSS ID or classes here. Also adding some custom CSS to these inline elements to any part of this module. Uh, also, you can choose to disable the visibility of the module on phone, tablet, or desktop as you want to. And there you go. There's your overview of the shop module.